Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Swedes Farm. It's Rich. I want to do a breed overview on the Rhode Island Reds. We've had several people asking about them, and we've had the Reds for about two years now. Um, the females, and we've only had females, um, the females run about six and a half pounds. The males can get up to about eight and a half pounds. They're a gorgeous red, mahogany, brown, um, I don't know, and there's little black tips on some of their feathers, if you can see. Some of the black, uh, some of the tails can be completely black. Now our girls have molted once since we've had them for two years, and they are, uh, I don't know, they, they do change color. We had one that had a neck that was almost orange uh, when she first started, but uh, she's gone very dark brown. So beautiful girls, um, great hardiness for both um, warm weather and cold weather. You know, us being in Minnesota, they need to be cold tolerant. Now these are not girls that like to get out in the snow <laughs> by any means. Uh, they, they tolerate the cold, and, you know, up to 25 below, but do they want to go in the snow? No. So don't expect them to be out running around in the, in the snow and sledding. Um, here, yes, yes. The, uh, they are very good layers very good layers. I bet you we get about 250 eggs per year uh, per bird. Now we've had, oh, I think 10, 10 birds. Um, we had one go broody, and that was it. Uh, they're not ones to go broody. I think that's been bred out of them. Um, they don't tend to be naughty, you know, run away or any of that. No broody, no naughty. Um, they are great foragers. They love uh, getting out and foraging. Um, we've got some woods. They'll get out in the woods. You can see they're trying to take apart a dandelion. Uh, thank you girls for eating the dandelions. Um, they will hunt down mice. Um, they're good hunters and foragers. The one knock that I've got on them is our group. I'm gonna speak just from our experience our group can be very bossy. They can pick on others at times. Um, one of ours has taken on the role of the rooster, and she will mount some of the others. Um, so uh, they, they can be, I don't know, uh, I guess bossy and uh, they're, they're They've picked on others, and we don't like that behavior. Um, they can be quite mean, it seems. I don't know if you can hear in the background. They can also be, if we're going to have girls that are loud, of all of our breeds, it's the reds. Um, so, that's the downside. The, you know, the downside of being bossy, uh, naughty, uh, not naughty, uh, uh, bossy, or they'll, they'll pick on others. Um, but as far as, you know, laying ability, as far as heat and cold tolerance, as far as, um, you know, the, the laying, they're great. So uh, overall, a plus, the noise and the uh, bossiness, we're not fans of. Um, as far as the males, I've only come across two males, and uh, that was at another farm, and they wanted to attack me. <laughs> They are big birds. I think they're eight and a half pounds, and they wanted to uh, really go to town on me. So, uh, overall, a great breed as far as production. Um, but from us, we want some docile birds. We want birds that are quieter and uh, more docile. We're not going to be getting more reds. So, hope the review helped. Um, if you got questions, put them down below. Um, if you've got reds, I hope uh, they're you know, laying for you good and, and enjoying being part of your flock. Take care, everybody.